Now we have uh, global business and government leaders also gathering in southern China this week at the annual Boao Forum for Asia, which is equivalent to the Davos here for the Asia Pack. And of course, the speculation is mounting that China may soon allow for a stronger yuan. My colleague Stephen Engel joins us now live from Hainan Island with the story. And it's pretty early there, Steve, but I guess all the talk is still over the currency debate. Good morning, Susan. We are here at Boao, and as you can see, the uh, sun has not risen yet. Still very early days of the morning, early morning, rather, of the first day of the Boao Conference. Former Treasury Secretary of the United States, Hank Paulson, arriving yesterday. He will give a closed-door uh, briefing just after all the delegates uh, arrive back from the golf course this morning. And then he will also be a panelist later on this afternoon. Then Saturday, Xi Jinping, the vice president, the heir apparent to President Hu Jintao, will give his keynote here at the Boal Forum for Asia. And the interesting times as well, of course, as uh, the successor for Hank Paulson, uh, Tim Geithner, is in Beijing, of course, or was in Beijing last night. Uh, very secretive talks with Wang Qishang, the vice premier of China. In fact, the past three treasury secretaries in the United States, including uh, John Snow, also in China today, uh, yesterday giving a speech in Shanghai. Interesting, I say, because, of course, all the talk uh, about the possible revaluation of the renminbi. Is it going to happen? Is it imminent? That's what's on everybody's mind here at Boao. The annual Boao Forum on China's southern Hainan Island wants to be Asia's equivalent to Davos. With a financial crisis in the West and China's rapid rise, the host nation is gaining a bigger voice on the international stage. This part of the world, not only China, you got India, you got Vietnam, you got Indonesia, a lot of new consumers coming into the market, that will surely drive growth if that is strong enough to pull the rest of us with it. That is early to say. East-West challenges, though, are on the rise. The recent bribery trial of Rio Tinto Stern Hu strained diplomatic relations between China and Australia, and the U.S. and others have amplified their pressure on China to strengthen the yuan. Former U.S. Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson arrived at Boao the same day his successor, Tim Geithner, made a surprise visit to Beijing. Speculation is rife here that Beijing may soon make a move on its currency. According to my experience when I was the negotiator, uh, if, if something is being discussed at a higher level, it's good news. But if it's uh, only on the newspapers, people are p pointing each other, then that's bad news. <laughs> <laughs> the Boal Forum for Asia is traditionally a collection of past presidents and policymakers. And this year is no different, with one major exception. The keynote on Saturday will be given by the heir apparent to President Hu Jintao, Vice President Xi Jinping. It's a fantastic opportunity to meet government leaders here in China uh, and senior business leaders um, uh, that, um, that have a, a relationship one way or another with Fortescue. Um, it strengthens ties and it provides opportunities and that's what we hope to achieve this week. How would you characterize Australia-China business relationship right now? Have they taken a step back because of the Stern Who issues? Our relationships are still very strong. Uh, our, our view is so, so long as uh, you're working in a, in a good governance and compliance manner, um, in a transparent way, then uh, you should be able to work well in any environment that you're working in. And with many former and future heads of state here, transparency is definitely the aim of police. Security at this tropical resort is tight to no doubt ensure that there are no other crises than the economic ones already at hand. And Susan, as I mentioned there in my report, not all, only just uh, past presidents and policymakers. We also have uh, the People's Bank of China Governor Zhou Xiaochuan here, also the bank regulator of China, Liu Ming Kong. He will be on my panel uh, this Sunday here at Boao, which I will moderate. So an interesting collection, yes, of past presidents and policymakers, but also some very relevant ones, including uh, the vice president, uh, the heir apparent to President Hu Jintao, Xi Jinping, giving a keynote speech tomorrow here at Boao. Hopefully in the next hour, Susan, the sun will rise and we will show you the beautiful tropical paradise that is <laughs> Boao in eastern Hainan Island down in the southern China. Back over to you. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. That's Stephen Angle in Hainan Island.